You know, with AI and uh, gaming starting to become a, a dominant force in the crypto market, I decided to top up my bags of Snailbrook. Snailbrook is AI and gaming all combined into one. And this guy, I actually have some of my Snailbrook uh, on their staking platform. So, they're currently in development of a game, as well as various other activities. Like, they've actually built infrastructure and are continuing to build. They bridged, they moved from Ethereum blockchain over to base chain because the gas fees are cheaper. So, inadvertently, it died on Ethereum and... Now they're regrowing it on base chain, which that's fine. That means I can, I'm able to get in there a lot cheaper than what it was on Ethereum. And the gas fees are like, you know, way better. I'd rather pay 2 or $3 in gas fees than paying 20 and $30. Just saying. But uh, yeah, they've got an elaborate uh, ecosystem. They got a website, Snailbrook. You can go on there. It's actually got this little neat uh, Bitcoin prediction little AI that they put on there. Just something novel that you can go in there and check and see with the direction that Bitcoin could potentially be going based on AI analytics. That's pretty chill. I like that. And uh, as well as... Uh, like I said, they're trying to get the video game going. They've got, you know, they're 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 kind of active on Twitter, not as much as you think they should be. They're definitely not really that active in the Telegram, although they will post updates. Uh, you know, they're more active on Twitter than Telegram. That's fine. At least they're there. At least they're making posts. It's, they're not really doing the rating and shilling that we're used to because they're they're coming from the angle of being an actual real business versus a meme coin. So their mentality is way different. Like this is not a rando pump and dump uh, 10x and jeet. That's not what Snailbrook is. Like this is this uh, if that's all you're looking for, this is not the video for you to be watching. Snailbrook is when it's low, the market cap is usually low, but you watch the chart to see for dips. See, because you er, hey, an extra ten dollars is an extra ten dollars. All right. So so anyway, that's the degen in me. I'm gonna wait for the dip, and I did. I got it at 2.8 million market cap. Today it's at 3 million market cap. I only bought like $100 worth, so it did not push the chart up. There was somebody who straight up like three grand into the project after I bought. And I haven't talked about Snailbrook in a very long time. I haven't told anybody in my group that I topped up my bag of Snailbrook or anything. I'm, I think I told one person, excuse me, just in case. I don't want to lie, unintentionally lie. But anyway, one person I think I told, and that was it. So, people are positioning themselves, you know. But Snellbrook is one of them where you just DCA, dollar cost average in. You just throw a little bit on it. And then they're eventually going to come out. 2025 is probably going to be the year they go mainstream. What am I saying? Ooh, what am I saying? Every coin in 2025 is going to give their best marketing push. And uh, it's on base chain, so they're waiting for that big surge uh, for base chain. Slot right now Solana's got all the all the volume and all the attention. But eventually it will go to Coinbase and Base Chain. You know, Base Chain is Coinbase's blockchain. So just FYI. Uh I like Snailbrook. I, I you know it's like I'm 
I'm into the meme coins. I say I'm a meme coin maxi on Ethereum. I'm not going to any other chain. But I always liked Snailbrook, and it was the one coin that if I was going to move to a different chain, you know, that would be the one, and I did. And I've topped up my bag. I've staked some of it. <laughs> I, I staked, I don't know what I was staking, but earlier in the year, I staked some of it for like two years. And I was like, now I'm like, dude, you're not going to be able to touch that till the summer of 2026. What were you thinking, man? What were you thinking, bro? Anyway, the the rewards on there should be nice and juicy. Hopefully. Anyway, it's it's there. I've got like I said, I just topped up my bag because I like, you know, the AI and gaming hype is intensifying. You know. The real world assets, uh, what is it called? RWAs. Uh, those are uh, those are intensifying tokenization of real world assets. Like the Black Rocks are buying uh, uh, buying up uh, all these coins and the ETFs. Like there's other coins that have just gotten etfs filed i'm not gonna mention you know but you know you're gonna see more and more etfs come out and so it's just you know you want to be in something that's going to bring actual real value to everyday people like video games are going to do it ai is going to be used in corporations and so if you got ai plus video games i just don't see how you're not going to win i just don't see how and clearly snail brooks got big people behind it or otherwise it would have already faltered you know so there's some big i you know say well if they got big uh vcs behind it that means they got big bags and they could dump on the community or what have you I mean, you're always going to have issues where, where, where the people that are building it are going to have big bags. And a lot of, uh, if there, if there are any validity to them, the reason why they have big bags is so that when the project does run, they can sell and re and reallocate that money back into the project. If they're really serious about what they're creating, that's what they normally do. And I think that's what that what's going on with Snellbrook. Yeah, they got big bags, but <clears throat> at the end of the day, uh, all I've ever seen them do is take that money and put it back into the project. You know? Uh, so that's... They, they raise funds one way or another. They either borrow it from corporations who wreck your project... Or they, they pack their bags, they, uh, you know, they, they, they pack their wallets while the coin, before the coin's launched out, they launch it out, they sell, they take those profits and they build infrastructure. So the corporations will just dump the project and move on and wreck you, wreck the chart. At least with Snellbrook, they're actually doing something with the money besides going to Hawaii and Dubai and you see pictures of them selling around the world with your money. Then They haven't did that, so that's why I like Snellbrook, you know. I was skeptical, but here it is, what, like a year, year, almost two years later, well, a year and a half later, and they're still working hard. They're still making things happen. Yeah. I'm not trying to talk you into anything you don't want to be involved with. I'm just telling you what I know about a project that I've had my bags packed on for a very long time. You know, Snellbrook is not going to go anywhere. They're going to be right here for the remainder of the bull run. If you like base chain and you're looking for an AI gaming coin combined, where well, you know they're not going to dump on you and run off with the money. 
when they do sell, they rotate the money back into the project to build infrastructure. That's a fact. I've been in here with this coin long enough to know. So, you know, it's safe. I consider it safe. You know, I got long-term bags. And uh, when they get their video game out, you know, people are going to onboard. Uh, and I don't know of any other project on base chain that is as far along with their game as what Snellbrook is. Snellbrook could, now I don't know this for a fact, I'm just throwing out that they could end up being the first game launched out on base chain. They could end up with the first one, which would be, which means they would have a first mover advantage. You know. And <clears throat> with a first mover advantage, AI and gaming being a, a hot sec sector that is heating up and people are uh, paying it more attention, especially uh, solid, real investors in the crypto market. Your little degens, they don't care. But your actual real investors in the market are paying attention. And it could end up being a profitable thing. Uh, long term I mean I'm long term like I said I got staked for two years so I'm a long term investor with Snellbrook yeah of course none of this is financial advice do your own research just crypto news and entertainment I know I haven't talked about it in a long time uh, but I, there's going to come a point where base chain becomes very popular and Snellbrook could be the very first coin to launch out a video game that's uh you know on base chain that's a first mover advantage any way you slice it even if the video game turns out to not be that popular the fact that they would be the first ones would uh would be a a big a big deal it would be a very it would be a game changing event put it like that so anywho i don't want to take too much longer i'm out here at the park my pre-workout is kicking in <laughs> so i gotta try to run and <sighs> you know what i'm feeling optimistic about this I like Snellbrook. I always have. Uh, you know, 2025 is going to be a good year for it. Good year for base chain. And all those base chain, base chain investors, I think it's going to pay off. I really do. So with that said, you stay frosty out there. <laughs>